Hi, I'm Chris Palmer, CEO of Supply Kick. Amazon just made what I think is the most significant announcement in the e-commerce and marketplace space in the last two years. And that announcement is Buy With Prime. It's a button that a direct consumer merchant adds to their checkout process that allows shoppers to use the same information, credit card payment, shipping information that they do on amazon.com associated with that account. It's a seamless experience and an upgrade in many ways to a direct consumer's checkout process. It's really a natural evolution that it makes sense now in hindsight. It's the, it's the merger between Amazon's FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon, and Amazon Pay, their payment solution that's intended for direct consumer store owners. Those combined now gives a, in a way for Amazon to manage the entire order and fulfillment process for a brand so that the brand doesn't have to. It's really a compelling new offering that I believe will over time change the fabric of the e-commerce space. I think the big winners from this will be direct consumer business owners. They actually are allowed to now retain all the shopper information, contact info, including email address for their shoppers. Amazon is very guarded on that. This is an exciting new change. They're also going to increase their checkout conversion by way of offering a known and trusted checkout process of Prime. We're also going to see for direct consumer merchants, simplified storage, delivery, order tracking, and returns. Very big wins for direct consumer business owners. I also think that every Amazon Prime customer is going to benefit from this. All at once, actually in time, when this gets rolled out and adopted more broadly, a Prime customer will have access to that same fast, free delivery from any participating website in this Buy With Prime program. We know that it's a seamless checkout experience, almost one click of, of ease, and I expect that to be a very big win for Amazon Prime customers to have free shipping, easy checkouts from any participating website. I also just think it adds value to the Prime membership. Amazon continues to invest in, in media of all types uh, to e expand the value of a Prime membership, and I think that this delivery from any participating website will do so greatly. Amazon themselves is going to be a huge winner from this as well. They're, they're the third winner. Uh, I think they're going to experience significant revenue growth for their FBA program, for Amazon Pay, and for Amazon Prime. It's just a trifecta of wins for them, for Amazon Prime customers, and for direct consumer business owners. The losers out of this new announcement, and as this builds, I think over time will be 3PL companies. I think that order fulfillment volume will shift from 3PLs that DTC store owners have largely turned to for their, their direct consumer store fulfillment. I think that we'll see some volume shift, significant volume shift over to, to FBA. I also think that post-purchase experience platforms will in time suffer at least to an extent. Amazon's gonna offer order tracking, real-time updates to a shopper as to the status of their order and just invest in this post-purchase experience that I think they, they've just not entered into that equation yet. So companies like Narvar and, and many others, I think in time will feel the, the added heat from Amazon doing this. I also think that Shopify in time will experience um, some loss from this. I think especially if Amazon more fully integrates Sells, S-E-L-Z. It's an online store builder that Amazon acquired in early 2021. If they could pair online store building and easy payment and, and fulfillment delivery options um, into one package, that they would have a clear offering that rivals anything on the web today. Long-term impacts from this, I think Amazon's gonna continue on a roll. They're gonna expand their dominance. The Prime membership's gonna become that much more important and valuable for shoppers on the web. I think that Amazon will attract more D2C merchants than they have right now. D2C merchants often play outside of the Amazon ecosystem, and I think this will actually attract them in. I also think that Amazon is just going to continue building out more infrastructure like they've signaled with this and the sales acquisition and many others, just beyond the core Amazon platform. I also think that Shopify versus Amazon, that war is already hot and it's only heating up further. What do you think about the Buy With Prime program? Love to know your thoughts and I'm excited to see this thing roll out.